All right. Hey. So it's Tony Danza and Josh Groban. We're on the set of The Good Cop. It's an amazing new show for Netflix. You'd never know, viewing at home, that this is a set. Hey, good morning. I can see the neighbors. We can, we can, we can, can flash the neighbors from this window. Right, so today, we're here to cook. We're going to do a couple of recipes from my cookbook. Let's start the stuffed artichoke. So we play chef and sous chef on The Good Cop. <laughs> Not sure to this day why they called it The Good Cop, because we are a cooking show. <laughs> <laughs> um, so why don't you tell us about The Good Cup, Tony? Okay, well, watching Colombo, yeah. that's what our show is kind of, right? It's a throwback to those kind of shows, like a procedural, but it's a mystery. I like the mystery aspect yeah, of our show. Too. How are we going to get ourselves out of this perfect murder? Every single episode has been such a new adventure. Whatever the murder is, whatever the mystery is, takes us to a new world, a new environment, and it's fun for the whole family. I love it! All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to be chopping garlic, okay. which is, of course, the most tedious thing. You are going to take these plum tomatoes. <laughs> okay. And you're going Good. to squeeze yep. them with your hands. And how do you do it? You do it with your fists? You do it with your open you hand? Do it any way you want. Pile but, drive it? But remember, as you squeeze, it could go all over. So, so I'm going to squeeze it. All right, I'm going to squeeze it. No, gra no grab that. them and just yeah, squeeze. Yeah, just squeeze them in your hand. <laughs> now remember, like I said, they're going to go all over if you're not careful. This is a practical joke. <laughs> Looks like a very clean process on the right side of the island. We and I want it a little fine, by the way. I want the garlic a little fine. That yeah, looks fine to me. <laughs> I'm thirsty. Are you thirsty? Uh, this is my favorite part of cooking. Okay, Mandavi Cabernet. <laughs> okay, let's stuff the artichoke. Drop a little bit of this stuff oh, in see. between oh, you each just, leaf. Just get it in between the yes, leaves. Yes, in between each leaf. And we'll cook it for another about five minutes. Okay, here we go. Take a little bit of butter. That's a little bit in, in, in Italian. And you're gonna whip this into this. What I would do usually is I put it in the oven under the broiler for two minutes and it would crust that up and it would be. Mm. Here's what you do. You pick oh, that off. I see. Mm. Oh, oh, right. That was mine. Oh, oh my goodness. Feeling good about that? What? Mine's got a lot of stuffing on it. That's the one you want, baby. That's the one I want. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> see, like father, like son. <laughs> it's out. So one of my favorite parts of the show, the, the action scenes, my character is kind of very straight laced. A swear jar? So when TJ gets to go Hulk mode a little bit and bust down doors and shoot out windows and arrest people, that's fun for me. We were shooting on Bear Mountain. There's a tremendous knockdown drag out fight. And Josh did it better than the stud guy. Well, I wouldn't it say was that. really no way. I watched. Okay. So I called up one of my friends. Now, by the way, let me give you a little backstory. There's a couple episodes where I actually sing in the show. Yeah. This guy's a quadruple threat. Oh yeah. But my friend says to me, Tony, do you realize you're in a show with Josh Groban? He's fighting and you're singing. <laughs> That's the like, topsy turvy world we live in on the good cop. We're also going to make a quick marinara sauce. And I've chopped up some onions, and I didn't want to chop them because I don't want to cry. I know you like to chop your onions in private. Yes. That's okay. We it's respect really that. It's the macho thing. I get it. <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to make the other part of the sauce. Now the paste gets yeah, its time gonna, to shine. What we're going to do is. Oh, you're going to put the thick I'm tomato just stuff throw in the thin tomato. Right in there. Baby <laughs> cakes. Watch yourself. Oh. Tomato on tomato action I can't here. wait for the prop department to have to wash oh all these dishes. Oh my gosh, look at that sizzling. <laughs> I could just lick the pan. So what do you do with that sauce? We're gonna put it on macaroni. What? Here we go. Look at that. Whoa. You're getting a facial now uh -oh. at the same time. There's our pasta. Right, so look at that for two guys whipping something up in the afternoon here. We started with a table of nonsense, and now we got real food. So this is cooking? Yeah, so then you know how you do this? What do we do? Be in the so right this hand. goes here, Yeah. and then you just spin it in and the you fork. spin it in the fork. See the way you do it? There you go. There you go, oh. pal. I'm gonna turn you into an Italian any minute. Oh. Mmm. You know what I feel like right now? A god. <laughs> It's been a joy to do this show with you and to learn from you, not only on set, but here in the kitchen. A salute. Salute to you. Try the recipes, they ain't bad either. More wine. <laughs> yes. Let's <laughs> toast. <laughs> so Great clink, by the way, these glasses have. Yes, that was a clink and a half.